this uh, video will be about uh, the web server. To be more specific, I'll give you real examples of logging to my appsconsultant.com website and uh, give you some tips and tricks. Uh, so for people that have been asking these questions, they really ask me, how do you restart Apache server? What am I using and everything? So I'm using what is called a CentOS. It's an enterprise Linux distribution. And it's based originally from the Red Hat Enterprise Linux Edition. Uh, the CentOS operating system is known for its reliability. It's been out for at least for the last uh, uh, 10 years. Uh, what my, my experience with it is quite secure, very low maintenance, predictable. And like Linux, it's a very it's solid operating system. Okay, so let me show you how to connect. I'm going to connect through SSH. So for people that don't know what SSH stands for, it's Secure Shell Connection. What this allows me, it allows me to connect to my web server. My web server is in a data center somewhere from GoDaddy, probably in the United States, I think in Arizona. And it allows me to connect to the web server to do all my changes. So now I'm logged in. So to do changes to your Apache, these, these, these usually require root privileges. Root is the super user of Linux. Uh, so to do super user, you need to, here let me just show you, you go SU to change super user, it's a super user command, and it asks you for the password. So now I'm logged in, you see the difference here, and I'm logged in as root. Anytime your website is down, you should always look. The first thing is to look at your Apache. Apache is your web server. The Apache command for it's it's HTTPD usually, but I'll just type it for you. I won't do the command because the uh, the issue is over 50 people on my website, and I'll make them. It will bounce their connection. I'll kick them out. So usually, on a CentOS server. Spin, you're gonna do it. You're gonna, to, you're gonna ask to change the service. HTTPD is the Apache, and you would go restart. You need to be logged in as root, as the super user. Okay, so just make sure that is it, because the command will not work otherwise. Root only allows you to change daemon privileges. I won't do the command. Again, there's another command. If you're doing some maintenance, you do stop, and then start. This is this is the Apache the Apache server. So now I'll show you some interesting other commands to do. So again, for you to again to learn CentOS, this is an open source operating system. You require a Linux or a Unix system and the desire to learn. I think this is uh, if you have the desire to learn, you could easily learn this. One useful one useful command for uh, people that have multiple web servers like myself is hostname. It allows you to see which web server you're installed on. As you know, I have a web service. Uh, this is a web server for this is appsconsultant.com. I also have an Oracle R12 uh, live instance on another server and an OBIE server uh, also. So I, I need to make sure I always know and I always use to this command hostname. If you're with multiple people having built this, so that's a one useful command to see who's logged in is last. Last shows you who's logged in. All, all the traces of the, shows you who's logged in. I'll give you one example, okay? So here, let's just take the first line. So Alex Antonio's logged in from this modem cable here, this address at 847, he's still logged in. And you could see all the connections and for how long they've connected. This is where usually I rebooted the server in January after the upgrade. Another very useful command is to list files, directories, and respective permissions. 
one command that I use often is ls minus als. Then what that does, this command will list all the files and subdirectories in the current working directory here. Just enter it. So you see, so it lists me all the Obviously, here to change directories is CD. Just go like that, and you can change directories. When you notice performance issues with your web server, one one command that I do often is to, it's called top T O P. And what this allows you to see it sees how much CPU is being used, system is being used, how much of the of the system is being idle at this current time memory being used, uh, total, what memory is being used currently, how much is free. So uh, again, it tells you what are the top services here that are, uh, that are, using, the, are using the memory. It provides, you know, the, the, this is what, what I like the most, the top program provides, a, it's a dynamic real-time view of a running system, so it, it allows you to uh, see what type of programs are running, what are the order, what are the size. Again, this is my fairly. This is a fairly useful command to, to do. Let me just uh, stop this. And another one is VM stat. Again, it allows you to see uh, what's uh, what's been running. And the last command that I that I do often when I do big changes is who. Again, who to see which server you're on. Uh, when you have multiple servers like myself on the web. You need to make sure if you're going to wipe any directory or uh, do major changes that you're not wiping the wrong one. I hope you've enjoyed it and please provide me your